So what does Beyonce Knowles, Katy Perry, and Amy Grant all have in common? Well, it's simple. They all started off as Christian musicians. Believe it or not, Beyonce Knowles was a Christian musician at one time. And then once they got enough fame, they just dropped the whole Christian motif altogether and just went full secular and became the divas that we know them as today. I've been saying to you for a long time that I believe the next person to do that is Lauren Daigle. She's just going to drop the whole Christian facade and become just a pop singer. That's what she's going to do. And it appears that that day has come. All right, guys, check out our book, Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll, available now on Amazon. You can get this book delivered to your door. I wrote this book a while back, and what I, what I did was I explained how um, people are using the Christian music industry as kind of like a minor league so they can get enough popularity so that one day they can get the call up to the big leagues. And, uh, you know, next thing you, you're doing churches, and the next thing you know you're doing local venues, and the next thing you know you're doing Jimmy Kimmel, and next thing you know you're a rock star. That's just how they these people think. They are using the church as a stepping stone to attain mainstream fame. And I have, I mean, there's verses in the Bible that talk about uh, they being made merchandise of you, and, and that kind of stuff is actually in, um, it says right here, and through covetousness, Second Peter 2, 3, through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. And it talks about how these, these words are feigned. I mean, they're fake. They're, they are, they are throwing out these words, kind of like a politician does when they say, God bless America. We all know that they're godless human beings and they're, they're just saying that just to get votes is all they're doing. And so that in a sense is exactly what a feigned word is. So they can get some money out of you. That's all that they're doing. Um, and they, this is exactly what these people do. Now, the one that I have been telling you about for a long time is Lauren Daigle. Uh, we have been talking about her over and over again. I've even put in some clips in the third Adam four saying that, uh, I mean, we did a video a while back saying that I believe Lauren Daigle come out of the occult closet and she was talking about transcendency and all these mysteries being revealed and really spooky talk. I mean, and a lot of people have asked me if I think Lauren Daigle's a witch and I don't know. I, 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 I really don't have a whole lot of leg to stand on with that. But all I know is that when you, when you dress like a fertility goddess, um, I, I don't know. I just have to kind of stretch my head a little bit at that. So whatever. And so Lauren Daigle is actually on tour right now with something called the Kaleidoscope Tour. Now, if you know what a kaleidoscope is, you'll understand that there are new age implications of all that, all that weirdo stuff, you know, looking into the crystal kaleidoscope. You'll understand how completely, not really exactly Christian that is. I mean, why don't we just have the Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds LSD tour? Why don't we just have the Acid Trip Jesus tour? I mean, why don't we just have the ayahuasca, ayahuasca Jesus? Jesus? Now, you may say that's ridiculous, but really, that's not that far off from a kaleidoscope Jesus, which is the name of one of her songs. So genius, kaleidoscope Jesus. Ayahuasca, Ayahuasca Jesus. Jesus. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, bro. I'm, I don't shoot the messenger. And so here's the headline out of South Carolina, WYFF Greenville. Grammy award-winning Christian turned pop singer brings her tour to South Carolina. The article says here, a two-time Grammy winner who started her rise to stardom as a Christian artist will bring her pop tour to Greenville, South Carolina this holiday season. Lauren Daigle and her Kaleidoscope tour will take the stage at Bon Secours Wellness Arena at December. December, on December 9th at 7.30. Atlantic Records recently partnered with Lauren's longtime label home, Centricity Music, and released her 23-track self-titled album, Lauren Daigle, in September. Daigle is one of contemporary Christian music's crossover triumphs, the New York Times said of her latest album. Thank God I Do and Be Okay are Adele-worthy piano ballads. Her manager said since the release of her Grammy Award-winning platinum-certified 2018 album, Look Up Child, which includes breakthrough New League six-time platinum-certified single hit, You Say, Daigle has been a mainstay on the Billboard charts. And if you notice, this album talks about her credentials as a commercial success in the music industry, but very little of it, If I, mean, I really don't say anything here, that says that this woman is actually a Christian. And the headline saying Grammy Award-winning Christian-turned-pop singer brings her tour to South South Carolina, to me, is very problematic of the current Christianity that we are promoting in North America today. I want you to know this, that if you are a Christian, that is what you are. 
You, you, like your Christianity should not be shelved and compartmentalized so that you can go be something else for a time. And what we have done is we have so minimized and had such a low view of what it is to be a Christian that we have diminished it to where it's just like something that you just kind of tag on to what you are when it's convenient, rather than that being the essence, the the center, the 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 summation of what you are. I am a Christian first and foremost, and everything else revolves around that. The Bible says in Colossians 3, 1, If thee then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life? Like, everything about my life should be Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So when we have people that are Grammy Award Christians that evolved into a pop singer. I, I think that's problematic. I think that pr promotes a low view of what it is to be a Christian. And I know some people say, well, this is her job. This is how she makes her living. I understand that. But listen to me. If you are a Christian, that should be woven into everything that you do. Listen to me. There's going to come a day where people are going to give actors a pass for doing sexually explicit suggestive scenes in movies and they're Christian people who are doing these things in movies and people are going to say, but, but, but that's his job. There, there's going to come a day where that's going to happen. Oh, oh, wait, it, it already has happened. Oh yeah. I forgot Chris Pratt. Yeah. So, so it is, is, uh, so it's Chris Pratt's job to make out on camera and do suggestive scenes with her on camera. Is that his job? Is that his job? Can he just set his Christianity aside for a few minutes so that he can do his job? Is that the problem here? Guys, listen, I'm telling you, you're getting played. These people are fake. These people speak feigned words so that they can make merchandise of you. I've been telling you for a long time that Lauren Daigle has been playing evangelicalism like a cheap banjo so that she can develop enough of a following and make enough money, make enough star power, make enough clout so that she can just drop the whole Christian motif altogether and go mainstream into secular pop music. Beyonce did it, Katy Perry did it, and now Lauren Daigle's going to do the same thing. Guys, when, when, you, when you see it once, it's an anomaly. When you see it twice, that's when you start to say, Ooh, and you see it three times, you start seeing a pattern. There are a bunch of people that are doing this. There are a bunch of people out there who think that somehow by becoming famous, they can become a lot more effective for the cause of Christ and that somehow fame is how God uses people. And you got to be famous to reach a big audience. But the problem is some people who start thinking that way, when they start gaining fame in order to gain more and more and more fame, they have to diminish the amount of Christianity they put in their message or diminish the amount of, of times they talk about Jesus and the gospel. There are very few, if almost no exceptions to this. I'm telling you this. Listen to me. These people are frauds. They are fake. They are feigned words. And Lauren Daigle, in time, I, she probably already has, but in time is going to fully transition to secular pop. She's going to keep all the love and, and ooh, your valuable stuff in her music like she like she has already. And uh, it's it's going to be there because it's it makes you feel good and it's all emotional and stuff like that. When she says like you you if you feel like you're not valuable, let me tell you, there's more. Somebody needs to uh, give a uh, a grammar check to the team Lauren Daigle. But whatever, she's going to keep up with all that stuff. But at, in time, it's going to become more and more generic. It's going to become less and less Christian. And then she's I mean she's just going to drop the whole motif together and become the next Amy Grant if she not if she isn't already really. So that being said guys look we told you this was coming we told you that the apostasy was here look check out our book calling evil good the live christian rock and roll available on amazon i know many of you have bought this book but there's many more of you who have not check it out give me an honest hearing on this i promise you this book will change your life and change how you see the world also while you're at it go watch the third adam series those things are awesome people have really enjoyed those god bless you friend have a good day we'll see you soon 